Welcome back to another video. So this will be a follow up for the video regarding AI generated models. As you can see over here, four months ago, I used Common Sense AI machine to generate various 3D models of chairs, chairs inspired by the Panton chair. And uh, I received this comment. So uh, Zolta said that this is useless. And I have to agree that those models created back then, so four months ago by the AI platform were quite bad and mostly useless. Um, and let's see. He also stated that I still need to learn a lot and I have to agree with that, but let's take a look at how common sense AI machine works now. So as we can see over here, I have a wide variety of models. I will go back to the home page. So to go back to the home page, so this should be it. So as we can see, these are the models. We see that they are a lot better and they are still created using only a single image. So I created a red Panton chair, a black one, and also we have this green. As we can see, this is a lot narrower than the others. Now to better analyze those models, I prepared the scene over here where I also added the 2D views, so the blueprint for the Panton chair, and I have the model over here, which resulted based on that. I also have the FBX reference. So for the F FBX reference, I use the original file on vitra.com. So you can see this will be that Panton chair. So we can have that downloaded and imported directly uh, over here. So this is an FBX format. So I had to convert that um, in order to add it over here since Fusion doesn't enable FBX within this build. So let's take a look at how those AI generated models um, compare to this one. So to do that, I will go over here and I will insert those models. I already have it over here download. So mesh one will be the <coughs> original chair. So the red one. This should all be loaded um, as we can see also with texture. So let me rotate that model. Let's see exactly on uh, what axis because the model is a little bit uh, oddly shaped. I will also move this to the ground. And now we're going to have the last axis, which will be this one. Okay, so we have the mesh. This is the first one. I will move it. I will position it over here. So, as we can see, the AI generated model looks a lot better, but still, this is far from being useful into, let's say, production for sure. But maybe for some visual elements, if you're going to add a chair, this chair somewhere uh, in the background, it can be used as a prop, even though it still has a lot of problems. But it's still a lot better than what the AI tool was able to do just four months ago, as we saw. Let's open the second model. So from the download folder will be mesh tool. Keep in mind that these are all OBJ files. You can download them directly as an OBJ over here. So you can select this. And now Common Sense AI Machine offers the possibility to have it downloaded as an OBJ. And that will also load in the texture. Since the texture is also over here within the folder, <clears throat> let me just show you that so we have it over here so we see the the albedo texture over here and uh, afterwards we're gonna have the second the third mesh the the green chair so let's open this as well let's see how that uh, will look in fusion again the orientation of the model since um, it was created using the ai tool doesn't really have um a well-defined origin and over here we see something for the texture so they are sharing the same uh, file name so they are all called albedo therefore this will have a mixture because it, the two files share the same name so we see that the geometry is different over here for the second one let me just reposition myself over here a little bit 
we see the leg of this chair and uh, the second one which should be black will have um, the following chair so i will just um, add an appearance for this one so let's see i will go for uh, let's say metal or i can just type in black over here and let's add this glossy material okay so that will build a bit better in order to fix this i should go within blender and uh, have those obj um, remapped and that should uh, clear that problem but for this case study i don't consider that should be important so let's see the last one this will be the red one uh sorry the green one which was also a lot narrower than the others as we can see over here with the texture again we have the same problem because they are all named albedo but i will just change the appearance of this one i will search for a green material okay and i will use this paint um, glossy metal uh, no metal um, material so paint and we see that model as well so overall from this profile the green one looks a lot better but the main problem with the AI tool is that it then didn't properly let's say understood the width of that uh, object yeah, so overall I'm very curious what is your opinion regarding this I see that just in a few months common sense AI machine improved a lot keep in mind that um, for the platform the input is the same so it is just this image and we see over here those draw those um, let's say views and um, yeah, overall for characters for example we see that this also improved for example we have over here the the boss of Trajan the Roman Emperor and this is quite well defined but uh, when I try the same over here we see how poorly those uh, were generated even over here we see that the face was also positioned on both sides but overall for the chairs I think that the quality is more than um, than good. Also, we see over here for the for the car, the same problem. Just like with the chair, this is a lot um, wider than it should be. But overall, I think that the tool is slowly developing to be to be a great tool. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this content. I'm really curious what um, if. People should uh, comment because I'm also going to post it over here for Zolta. I see that uh, he just edited his message 55 minutes ago. So yeah, that's it. Let me know what's your opinion about Common Sense AI Machine. I will position a similar video on the bottom. I will put the, um, the place over here where I have all the videos regarding uh, AI generated models. And of course, I will put a subscribe button. So consider to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. So that's it. Thanks for, thanks for watching.